Hello everyone, welcome to provide a solution given this nice algebra problem, which is x plus 8 raised to power 2, this is equal to 64. So what is the value of x? Now, solution here, we have x plus 8 raised to power 2, this is equal to 64. Okay, so we can solve this algebra problem applying two methods. Eh? So let's start with method 1. And this method 1, let's take 64 on the left hand side so that we'll have x plus 8 raised to power 2 subtract 64, this is equal to 0. Now we can express 64, so we can express 64 as 8 times 8, which is basically 8 to power 2, this is equal to 0. We're saying this is x plus 8 to power 2 subtract 8 to power 2, this is equal to, to 0. Now, from what we have here, we find that this is actually in the form of a squared minus b squared, which is actually the difference of two squares, expressed as a plus b, a minus b. So, applying this property, we'll have a basically as x plus 8 and b equal to 8. Okay? So, a plus b, this is the same thing as x plus 8, okay, plus 8, and then a minus b, this is x plus 8, subtract 8, this is equal to 0. Now here, we'll have x plus 8 plus 8 is 16, so this is x plus 16, and the second part is x plus 8, subtract 8 is 0, so we'll have x, this is equal to, to 0. So that means that we have two parts here, x plus 16, this is equal to 0, and also we have x2 equal to 0. So here we have two possible values of x, x1 being equal to negative 16, and x2 equal to, to 0. So these are the values of x applying method 1. So let me show you method 2. Let me show you method 2 quickly. Now applying method 2. We have x plus 8 raised to the power 2, this is equal to 64. Now, this is actually in the form of a plus b raised to the power 2. This can be expressed as a to the power 2 plus b to the power 2 plus 2 times a b. Applying this algebraic identity, we find that x plus 8 to the power 2, this can be expressed as x to the power 2 plus 8 squared, which is actually 64 plus 8 times 2x, that is 16x, okay, then this is equal to 64. So let's take 64 on the left hand side. Let's take 64 on the left hand side, we'll have x to power 2 plus 64 plus 16x subtract 64, this is equal to 0. Now from what we have here, 64 and 64 simplifies, so we'll have x to the power 2 plus 16x, this is equal to 0. So that means that x, x squared plus 16x is common, we factor out x, so this is x plus 16, this is equal to 0. So that means here we have two possible values of x, that is x1 equal to 0, and then we have x plus 16, this is equal to 0. So that means that x2 is equal to negative 16, okay? So applying method 1 and 2, we have that the value of x1 is equal to 0 and x2 is equal to 16, okay? So let's verify, let's verify that these two values of x actually satisfies the equation. Let's verify, let's verify this. Now, if you recall, we have that x plus 8 squared, this should give you a value of 64. So, substituting the value of x1, the value of x1 is 0. So, this is 0 plus 8 squared, this should give us a value of 64. So, here, this is 0 plus 8, this is 8. So, 8 squared this is equal to 64. So 64 is equal to 64. 
So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. So that means that x1, which is equal to 0, actually satisfies the equation. Now for x2, we'll have this is x plus 8 squared. This is equal to 64. Now we'll have negative 16 plus 8 squared. This should give you a value of 64. Now this is negative 8 squared. This is equal to 64. So this is negative 8 squared. This is actually equal to 64, which is equal to 64. So the left hand side is equal to the right hand side. And that shows that the value of x1 and x2 actually satisfies the equation. So kindly follow the steps, like this video and subscribe.